Peace Facebook fam. This is your boy Brandon. Just want to check in with y'all. Hope y'all having a great week. Hope y'all had a great Sunday. Hope y'all get had a good word today if you went to church today. Um, but I just want to stop by and give y'all that weekly word of encouragement and in prayer. Um, thank y'all for y'all patience. I tried to go live uh, right at two, but man, it was a lot of uh, a lot of interference today. Um, a lot of interference trying to get logged in today, but we're here now. So um, I pray that this blesses everybody. Let's start with a word of prayer. So dear God, I thank you for everybody that's tuning in to this live. God, I thank you for everyone's patience. God, I pray that we will come into your presence, Lord, that we would just shake the week off, shake the day off, Lord, even shake the last hour off, Lord. So God, as we enter into your presence, Lord, God, we ask that um, this would just be a sacred time, God, a, a protected time, Lord. And God, I pray that as one of your vessels, Lord, that I'm able to deliver a word on good ground and that it bear much fruit in the person that's listening lives. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, y'all. So today's word of encouragement is, are you an AI? Yes, that's right. Are you an AI? So everybody knows about AI, artificial intelligence. Everybody's using it. Everybody knows about it. It's the new technology that's pretty much changing the world, changing the game. And one thing with AI, it's not a new technology. It's been out, you know, since the late 80s, early 90s. It's, it's just that now it's just more commercially available and it's packaged in a way that the every everyday person can get access to it. Um, and one thing with AI is, you know, when it first came out, a lot of people were saying like, yo, like this is crazy. Like it's so smart. It's so advanced. And that it is. But there's one element about AI that uh, AI, a, a computer can't replicate from a person. So one big thing is, it's, it gives you the next best idea. So if you ask it a question, it just gives you a general next best idea. So if you say, hey, um, A, B, C, what's the next letter? D. Simple, right? It seems sophisticated, but not really, because it only can give you the next best answer based off, based off of what you know and based off what it's been given. So the thing with AI technology and today's message is with AI, whatever you ask it, it's just going to give you a general answer and a vague answer, right? There's no human feelings to it. It, it just gives you the next best thing, right? A very simple, general, you know, response. And sometimes as we believers, we've been like AI, right? Where something happens in the life of a person. Hey man, my dog died. You know what I'm saying? And people say, well, you know, God just gained another angel. You know, uh, you know, people come to you with some heavy things. You say, yeah, I'm, I'm going to pray. I'm praying for you, man. I'm praying for you. And you don't pray. You know what I'm saying? That's just a, the next thing. That's just things that we say. We say that we praying and then people don't pray. Right. Um, you know, people say, yo, man, I, I got laid off. I'm on tough times, man. Oh, man, that, that that's hard, man. I'm going to pray for you, man. But if you have it to give. That's God's opportunity for you to be a blessing, a, a, a blessing in the flesh. You get what I'm saying to that next person. And sometimes we just don't do it, you know, um, and we become like AI. We just say what's general. We just say um, what is in the culture. You know what I'm saying? If, if somebody's down, you say, oh, you ain't down. You bless and highly favored. Get up, man of God. Get up, woman of God. You know, and, and it's, and sometimes it's more complex than that. You know what I'm saying? And even God sending Jesus to us in the flesh, even, even God understands that sometimes that we have to come out of the AI responses and come into a more, um, Come into a more human response, you know what I'm saying? Where we're focusing on the spiritual part, we're praying for folks, we're we're uh, we're praying, we're standing in the Lord with them. But then in the natural, we're doing things right, and even God understands that because He sent us Jesus, right? So God was God, right? But then He sent a physical manifestation of Himself through Jesus, so that us humans we can understand God even the more, because God even God knows that. Even though we are in the spirit at times for us to fully get a full understanding, we need to see a physical person here. We need to see a tangible thing done. 
And I'm going to go to a very, very, very important scripture that breaks this whole thing down, man. And this is in uh, the book of Matthew. And this is really going to bring everything home. So I'm in Matthew chapter 25. This is verses 30 through 40. So check this out. So Jesus is teaching. He has a parable about the sheep and the goats. So it's a teaching about sheep and goats. He says, when the son of man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit on his glorious throne. All the nations will be gathered before him and he will separate the people from one another as the shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on the right and goats on the left. Then the king will say to those on the right, come you who are blessed by my father, take your inheritance and the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty. You gave me something to drink. I was a stranger. You invited me in. I needed clothes. You clothed me. I was sick. You looked after me. I was locked up and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when do we see you hungry and feed you or thirsty or give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in, needing clothes and, and having to put clothes on you? When did we see you in sick or God, when were you locked up? When did we visit you? And the king will reply, the king meaning God. Truly, I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you done for me. So. Even with this scripture being said, it's, it's, it's telling you like, yo, like we need to serve people on that spiritual level. Yes, we need to pray for people. We need to stand in the Lord, stand in the gap with people. You know, we we need to heal the sick. You know, we need to call on God and, and, and call on the spiritual things. But do not nor ignore the natural things because those are manifestations of God as well. And God is telling us here that whenever we make it to heaven, we're going to be accountable for the things that we did and didn't do for God's people because these are representations of God as well. So we have to watch how we handle people, how we talk to people, how we deal with people, how we even think about people like, yo, this is I'm, I'm not giving that person five dollars. You know, I, I got fifteen dollars. You know, if I give them five now, I got ten. I, I don't have it to give. But if God is putting these things on your heart, man, you have to do it. You have to give because, again, you you don't know who is being sent by God to test you. You don't know who's sent by God for you to bless them so that you can be, get a bigger blessing. That's how this kingdom works. So we have to work on how we respond to people. When we say things like, you know, uh, God gained another angel or God gives his strongest, uh, uh, strongest soldiers the hardest battles. That's not it, man. That's not always it, man. We have to come with prayer, encouragement and tangible manifestations of God's love in this earth. So I want to pray over this word. I pray that it reaches good ground. God, I pray that as we go about our week, God, God, I pray that you would help us, Lord, to get come out of our comfort zone, Lord, to come out of our own troubles, our own trials, our own tribulations, Lord, and see your people, Lord. God, help us to see your people the way you see them, Lord. And God, if you are able and willing, Lord, to give us uh, gifts, if you're able to give us the gift of time, Lord, Lord, help us to steward those gifts so we can be a blessing to your people and a blessing to your kingdom, Lord. God, put that single mother, that single father on our heart, Lord. God, we can give the gift of time. We can watch someone's love uh, children for them, Lord, to give them a break, Lord. God, if someone is, is short on finances, Lord, and we have something extra, Lord, God, let us be a blessing with what we have and the measure of what we have, Lord. God, if we know God, that there's someone out there that is that's lonely, that's in the hospital, that hasn't been visited yet. Someone that's um, in prison that hasn't been visited. Lord, put it on our hearts, Lord, to make space and make time for that person, to be a friend to that person, to win them over to your kingdom and for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Y'all have a blessed week. And um, again, if y'all have any uh, prayer requests or need some encouragement, you could drop it in the comments or you could shoot me an inbox. Peace.